What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel so we are on the final part of every single legendary champion in the game and we up to the nasarian union so we've got dwarf shadow skin and silver watchers there's some pretty strong champions in here so let's go check them all out so we've got a mythical one here we've got frolin the mechanist a uh, pretty cool champion i mean well pretty cool looking champion Let's look at him in his final form. Uh, okay, looks a bit weird. I definitely prefer him the other way. Um, but yeah, interesting kit. Um, probably pretty strong, definitely. Do you know, if you pull Mythical, of course, of course you're investing in them. Okay, so first legendary is Trunda. Um, if you pull her, you're definitely going to invest in her. Um, great for Arena. Still not top tier, but still very, very strong. Um, just hits super hard on array three and array two. Um, you want to try and build with as little accuracy as possible so she gets a double hit on array three. Um, can also be used for spider hard um, and also obviously for dungeons as well, like level 20. She will clear waves so quickly for you. So very, very strong. Definitely invest in this thick fire, thick fire champ. Our uh, Brogni. Uh, I recently done a video on this guy. Go check it out. Um, absolute beast can carry you everywhere in the game. An amazing kit. Um, you know, he, he's in like clan boss and Hydra, um, like infinity team comps, and they all hold the world record for most amount of damage. Um, so basically it's good of his passive. So if anyone on the team is under a shield, he will reflect that damage back at the attacker. Um, also he's bringing in block debuffs and the dot, uh, block debuffs is no, sorry, the shield buff cannot be removed it's protected buff uh but yeah bringing in a lot of buffs as well so compare it with seer as well it also strips and he brings in a hp burn solid solid champion herndig great fusion um great for dungeons um if he gets a kill he will keep popping off um but yeah so on his a1 if he kills an enemy gets an extra turn no is it an extra turn or resets cooldowns i can't remember now um, but yeah, and also fully defeats target Tommy. I could be using Dark Fey. Um, can also be used in Arena as well. He does hit really, really hard. But yeah, great, great champion. Uh, Go Fred or Jeffrey. Um, great, great champion. Um, basically, can be used like for Arena defense. Um, so if someone's get to, uh, sorry, if someone's about to get killed, he's gonna stop it put block damage buff on them and will also play stun on the attacker really really annoying uh great like arena defense champion great for live arena as well definitely worth investing in mountain king um bit of a shame like he's been nerfed because of ultimate death knight but still really really strong um hits super super hard he um you just stack hp on him he's pretty hard to kill um, but yeah, really, really great, great champion. Okay, um, the Elder. Um, unfortunately, this guy's pretty trash. He's one of the few champions that has increased resistance, but um, not seen him used in any content at all. So it's a hard skip from me. It also looks a bit like a weird Thanos, like a poor man's Thanos. Um, okay, so Gronja. Um, I I'm trying to remember how you get this guy. Um, I think I think you get him from Doom Tower. By the time you get him, there's just so many better options. He's a skip from me. Um, Nari, the lucky. Um, again, I just feel like another champion that you would skip. Again, not seeing him used in any content. Morley. So this is a champion that every single person can get. Um, so what you do is you've got to play the game for a while. And if you've got some deep champions that are trash, um, basically sell them in the shop and you can buy yourself a Molly. Um, I'm using her in Hydra. I use her in a Nightmare team comp. I've used her in three rotations so far. And she helps a lot um, because of her passive. So basically when someone in the team gets hit, I know when she gets hit in the team, she's going to fill the whole team's tournament by 25. That is insane. Uh, she also brings in a single target uh, revive with block damage and turn me a fill by 50%. Also bringing in Provoke, and the Provoke is one of the main reasons we're bringing her in. 
uh, for Hydra. Uh, great for Arena as well. 100% worth getting and investing in. Uh, Samar, um, I would say he's like a trash champion. Um, however, he can be used for, uh, to solo Bommel. So if you need to solo Bommel, definitely invest in him. Otherwise, stick him in the vault. Uh, Kriya, the Watcher. So I've got this champion. Um, I've not um, used her yet. Um, but she does have like a pretty okay kit. I'd say like she's sort of mid-tier for me. She's mid-tier. So I'd probably not invest in her. Gnu or Gina or Gnuts. This guy is so sick. Like the best. Okay, not the best. That's an exaggeration. One of the best fusions ever um mainly because he was a3 it just hits so damn hard and it can ignore that silly stuff that a lot of the dungeon bosses have that are like 21 and above or in the hard mode where you know it caps max damage at like uh, 10 percent um so this guy can just go go nuts um and like it doesn't matter he just hits so hard um also for like fire knight as well he will push back the Terminator on normal, um, but on hard mode as well, he's bringing that freeze that will push back that Terminator. Just an absolute god for PvE. You're using him, definitely worth investing in. And actually, I'm bringing him in loads of teams now, like um, Dark Faye. I've made a team comp around him, and it's almost like two and a half minutes, so he is doing a lot for us. Uh, Tormund... Um, not as strong as he used to be. He used to be a god in the arena. But do you know what? I still like him. I wish I had him. He's got like a really unique kit. Um, can also be used for Doom Tower Wave. So basically he can freeze champions. And I think a lot of people forget that he can do some really interesting stuff with HP Burn as well. So you bring in a HP Burn champion for Doom Tower Waves. And these two, or him and Tormin, will just get work done for you. Um, he's also really good for um, live arena. So, you know, not everyone's always bringing in stone skin team comp. Sometimes, you know, they're bringing in double strippers or they're bringing in a turn me, a, a, like a speed team. And Tormund can just lock them out with free. So still, he's still a really useful champion. And he's, he's good for like arena defense because he forces people to bring in a cleanser and stuff like that. A Krizia. So um, I know she is an absolute boss um, for dungeons. Like she can just drop bosses so quick um, and also really good for Hydra. Like she is the queen of Hydra. No one is doing more damage than her. Um, yeah, just an absolute beast. Shadowkin. Um, so these are the ninjas. We got Jintoro. Um, I think he can only really be used for unkillable clan boss. Um, otherwise, he's going to be a skip. Lady Kimmy. Um, it's a real shame. I thought she was going to do so much for my account. I was so pumped when I pulled her. I don't think she's that great, to be honest. I think a lot of people are going to hate me for that. A bit controversial. Probably a lot of people are going to disagree with me. But the problem is, is that if um, for her to apply block buffs for like for example hydra they need to already have buffs on them for her to strip um it is pretty good for arena though um you know she's bringing in speed she's bringing in turn meter but increased accuracy as well so there's a very good chance she is going to script uh script strip buffs and then put out block buffs um but i think it's only yeah there's i don't know it's, it's a little bit difficult to get it to work um, I guess the other thing that's good about her for Hydra, though, is that she does do decreased speed as well. Um, so I think for like Hydra hard, she's like an absolute boss. But when you start to get a bit higher up, I feel like she falls off and there are better options. But yeah, she's still good, though. She is good. Ninja. Um, a lot of people, you know, probably don't have this champion um, because he was like a limited time only. Um, but such a good champion. I wish... You know, the newer guys out there, I hope Plarium change their mind and they let you pull this guy. Um, so good. Uh, it's, it's all about his A2. It just does so much damage. Um, great for bosses. Um, will just clear and hit bosses so hard. And also, you know, he can be used to like uh, do duo stuff on Sand Devil as well. 
Michi. So this guy is an absolute boss when it comes for uh, to Hydra. He is doing damage. He's bringing in Hex as well. Um, and that is just great for the head of Mischief as well. So um, he also does so much damage. Like most team comps I've seen, they're doing like 100 million on Nightmare Plus. So yeah, he's definitely a beast. And I'm sure you can use him in loads of other PvE content as well. Harima. Um, so she does like, she, like for, for Live Arena, she is the queen. Um, definitely like top, top, top tier. Um, she also brings like provoke. Um, she also does like more, the, like the longer she's in a fight, the more damage she does over time, which is great for clan boss as well. And for other, like, you know, any boss that takes time, like Hydra, she will do loads of damage over time. And because she's defense, like all her damage is scales over defense, it means she has great survivability too. So great, great champion, like absolute boss. Uh, definitely worth investing in. Uh, Master Yoshi, I love this guy. Um, he's still really, really strong for a lot of content. Uh, great for Arena. He can like cut in, throw in True Fear, increase accuracy as well. Um, also brings a stun as well. Um, but also great for like Doom Tower content as well, um, especially Waves. So yeah, he's still, still a great champion. I still love him. I would definitely invest in him. Nobel, uh, it's a hard skip. He's just trash. Uh, this is the uh, this is the guy though. That um, yeah, Nobel. He does like bringing true fear and stuff. And just to scroll back to last the last video that I've done, Fortus, him and Fortus. I think if you pair them up, you could do some really interesting stuff. Um, but again. I think you'd be investing a lot to probably for very, very little reward. So both of them hardcore skips. Tatus, um, pretty new champion. Again, I think it'd be a skip for me. Um, but the only reason is because she's got that sleep, she might be good for Sand Devil, but otherwise, yeah, hardcore skip from me. Uh, Genzin. Yeah, I, I don't really rate this guy. Another I mean, the only good thing about him is he's got that ignore, unkillable, and shield buff. But yeah, you never see him, and there's a good reason why. Oh, Kaoku. I was so excited when I pulled her, and I think she looks so good, but she's just not that great. Um, she does bring like block damage and ally protection, but yeah, and she brings in like decrease attack and HP burn. I just find it really hard to use her. I mean, I tried to bring her in for like arena defense and I tried to use her on arena offense. She's just trash. So she looks so good, but don't be fooled. She's another hardcore skip. Gamoran. Um, I pulled like a six star. So mine's actually fully awakened. Um, so, you know, all the red stars and he's still awful. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get stuff to work with him. It's such a shame. He has like a real interesting kit, but he can't do much. So yeah, again, he's a skip. He is a skip, unfortunately. So yeah, if you get him, don't don't make the mistake I did. Don't invest in him at all. Even if you can fully fully awaken him, he's still absolute garbage. The Fox Hunter. So this guy is pretty decent. And if you've got Yumiko as well, they are a nasty duo. They will just pump up. They do loads of damage, but they also do, um, they do like loads of stuff that's really cool together. So definitely, definitely worth investing in. Uh, he hits really hard as well, so really good for um, arena new car. Um, I think outside of that, he doesn't really do much else. So if you need an arena new car, definitely worth bringing in. Rio, absolute goddess, everywhere in the game. Um, she's great for all content. Um, someone's always said to me, if you struggle, you know, if there's some any bit of content you struggle with, you bring in Rio and you just it becomes a cakewalk. Um, so she can transfer debuffs from herself instantly to the attacker. She also brings in like a cleanse as well and block um debuffs. She also throws out loads of debuffs as well, and she's doing like continuous heal as well. Such a great champion. You know, everyone I know that has her absolutely loves her. Invest, invest. Jin Wong, if you pull this guy, I feel sad for you. 
Um, just another champion to dilute that void legendary pool. Just so trash. It's really sad. I don't even know what his kit is. I just know that he's one of the worst champions in the game. Okay, and now we've gone to Yumiko, who is an absolute monster for Arena. She is, without a doubt, one of the best champions. Not only is she a monster for Arena, again, she makes, um, you know, Clan Boss and Hydra. She is helping, you know, people break world records with her. So basically, she decreases cooldown of all the enemy skills, which is just insane. But also, she resets skills on the team. So, you know, you deal your damage, you get to go again. And, you know, great for PvE, uh, for speed runs, because she will set cooldowns. Bringing in Hex as well, just such a strong champion. A really nice pass as well. We've got perfect veil on herself. So good. Um, yeah, 100% you're investing in one, like one of the best champions easily in the game. Oh, so Pinocchio, aka Dildo Nose. Um, I mean, I actually quite like his look, actually. Uh, even with that silly nose, he's a pretty cool looking champion. Um, you get him from Doom Tower. Um, no one ever really talks about him. I don't think he gets much love. Um, I think by the time you get him, there's just better options. He's he's a skip, another another skip. Shuzen, so she's new to the game. Um, I don't really like this skin. She looks like a really like really crappy um, Chung Li from Street Fighter for me. Um, just not liking her kit at all. And um, the only good thing about her is the more accuracy she has, the faster she is. So she's gonna be one of the fastest champions of the game. So. Probably better than an Arbiter. She'll be faster than Arbiter for sure. Um, and I guess she is bringing in, you know, um, fill time meter, increased speed, and decreasing the enemy speed, which means you definitely will go first if you go against maybe an Arbiter or Seafy. However, I just think like the rest of her kit isn't that strong. So uh, I don't know. She's probably like, I would say maybe like maybe like an a tier champion a plus but not not quite god tier but as you're saying that though she's definitely worth investing in like i've just completely shat all over her um but actually do you know what she is still really good like she's better than arbiter but she's not on the same level with like a duchess and a siffy um but yeah still still very good so last but not least the silver watchers the tree huggers um, so we've got um, Arbas, and I think a lot of people are saying this is one of the best uh, mythical champions. Um, she has a really cool kit, 100% you're investing in her. I really hate her default uh, skin, just just looks weird. Just She's just like this weird green person, I just don't like it. Uh, but she transforms into an even uglier tree monster. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, not not so hot. Ah, oh, so we got Elva, one of my favorite champions. Um, amazing for Hydra. Um, any sort of dungeons you need help carrying, definitely bringing her in. She has like a three turn cooldown on her revive. You build her super super fast. She will just be reviving champions for days. Um, but also, um, she has like a passive where she brings in perfect veil as well. So. Anyone that's low on your team, she will protect them. Um, she also has the same passive as a seal, so she will heal every champion on their turn. Also cleanses and brings in block debuffs. And she just throws out continuous heals for days. Um, great for Hydra, great for like dungeons, but also great for PvE, uh, PvP as well. Um, live arena, classic arena, and tag. Just stick her in stone skin. Absolute beast. Uh, the king. Um, he's pretty good. Not like super OP, but um, you know, he he strips. Um uh, does he strip? I'm pretty sure he strip. Yeah, he does strip and throw out block buff. So that is really good for Arena. Also, really good for Hydra. But he also um, you know, he does remove debuffs and continuous heal. I mean, actually, do you know what? He's like I'd say he's S tier easily. Um, these tree huggers, they've actually got a lot of good champions. Um, yeah. 
yeah, solid, solid champion. Yeah, definitely worth investing in. Um, Olia. So I skipped this fusion. Still think she's not that great. I think she's got a few niche uses, but I'll probably skip. Uh, the Green Warden. Um, I don't know too much about this champion. Um, yeah, I feel like he's not that strong. Definitely a skip from me. <laughs> Sisha. So basically, if you play raid for 20 years or you spend a million pounds a year, you'll get this champion. Um, just absolute trash, hardcore skip. We won't even we won't even entertain it. We're not gonna look at them. Lady, lady. So what is the lady doing? Mm, she looks kind of average to me. She doesn't, she's not worthy of the leg legendary status. And um, for me, she's a no. She's a no. Ali, or I oh, say, yeah, Alil. Um, yeah, this guy is um, basically he's like an arena nuka. And um, pretty, again, one of those, um, like Gorgrid, he can ignore strength and stone skin. Um, I would say he's definitely worth investing in. Like, he is actually a good arena nuka. I've run into him a few times, and he hits hard, and he's got a pretty good kit. Not god tier, but not bad either. Yeah, definitely worth investing in. Also, this is a new one. Um, some weird bird tree creature, uh, Clandana. Um, okay, so what's she doing? So she's doing revive on death, block debuffs, uh, throwing out decrease speed and leech and asleep. What definitely, you know what? She's got an interesting kit. She's doing a lot. I would invest. I'm not sure where she's actually useful. Oh, okay. So everyone's saying she's got awful. Okay, ignore me. Um, yeah, I'm not too familiar with the champion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Emic. So this guy was one of the hardest fusions of all time to get. Um, I went hard on this guy to get him. And to be honest, I've not used him yet. I know, for shame, for shame. It's just like the books, Plarium. When are we going to get more books? Um, but actually, do you know what? He's a really good champion. Like, he can be used for clan boss, unkillable team comps. Um, can be used, obviously, in dungeons. Literally anywhere in the game, he's usable. Um... And I'm pretty sure you can use him in Shogun as well. Um, but I've run into him a few times in Live Arena. And this ability right here is super annoying. The taunt. So it means that everyone has to focus him. But also the unkillable buff on your teammates as well is solid. Um, great, great champion. Also, um, whenever an ally's HP drops below 20%, increases damage built by that by allies by 20%. That's really good. But there's something about 50% increases. Sorry. Whenever attacked while under a shield buff has a 50% chance of increasing the cooldown of a random skill of the attacker by two turns. I mean, that is a really, really cool ability. Um, so yeah, great, great champion. That was, that's what I was looking for. Decreases the cooldown of all ally skills except this champion by one turn. Um, that will help speed up things for, um, for dungeons, but also in arena, you've just blown all your big abilities. No problem. Emic is coming in and he's going to reduce your cool gowns and you can go again and just smash your enemy. Uh, yeah, another, uh, yeah, he is like, for me, I think he's S tier. Uh, not quite God mode, uh, but yeah, he's a boss. Definitely worth investing in. Uh, yeah, so that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Um, but yeah, leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash. Uh, that sub button, and I will see you in a video soon. Peace!